My name is Sim Larkin. I'm the leader of the Air Fire Team uh, with the U.S. Forest Service Pacific Wildland Fire Sciences Laboratory. We're in Seattle, Washington. My group studies atmospheric science as it relates to wildland fire, including climate change, including uh, air quality, and including uh, fire weather. Uh, my work largely focuses around smoke from wildland fires, and a lot of our work uh, focuses on smoke from wildfires. We've built up over time a modeling system for trying to predict where smoke from wildfires goes. And this is in use by a number of agencies around the country and actually internationally to try and make predictions for public health notifications and other uses. We work directly with managers, particularly fire managers, on incidents through uh, incident specialists called the Air Resource Advisors that we help train. These are people that learn how to predict smoke and how to deal with smoke-related issues. And we are on the phone with them throughout the summer trying to work on incidents across the nation to help them do their job of informing both the incident command about what smoke might mean and how that might influence decisions made in fighting the fire, but also in working with local public health agencies and uh, local air regulators to get the word out as to what smoke impacts might be uh, down the road. So one of the main things that they produce is a smoke forecast outlook. We work with them to help get that outlook created and made and put out to the public to let people know what the smoke's going to be in their neck of the woods um, in the, over the next few days, uh, when uh, good times to get out because maybe there'll be a break in the smoke uh, might be, or when good times to limit their activities because maybe the smoke will be worse. We've been doing this program since 2011, and it's really expanded over the past several years. So while new, um, there were many, many deployments of these air resource advisors on wildfire incidents over the past year. Um, and we're expecting even more this year.